Hey guys, I wasn't planning on making this video at all, but I came across a thought that I wanted to share with you and also some things that I do to shift my mindset around it. How to shift or how to change the guilt or yeah I would say guilt mindset on those days when you would want to be more active or more productive and you're actually instead choosing to enjoy life so how to shift that mindset and still be able to shift this guilt mentality and instead actually be present and enjoy those days so you can then be more active and not to feel always guilt about not doing certain things because I feel that then you will bring the guilt into the days that are your free days or days to relax to really be present and be more mindful of where you are and where you're going because we can only hear I think we can only hear our inner voices when we are truly relaxed and if we're always feeling guilt for not being active all the time we will then take this mentality to every situation that we go into, whether the days are active or not. So a couple of things that I do are, firstly, whenever I feel, like obviously meditation helped me a lot. So I started to feel, I started to feel more at ease with myself. So whenever I notice that there is a guilt feeling rising, like I had today, because I did put on my to-do list that I should be writing an article today. And I did start it already, so I'm on the right path. But then I noticed that it was really a nice weather, you know, I wanted to be with my family, I wanted to go outside. I wanted to just be present and not uh, think about all the chores and tasks that I needed to do, right? And I have to say that at first, it always feels like I should be doing something else. I should be doing something active or something that was on my to-do list otherwise it will never be done but the fact is if you're not able to relax you will not have the mental energy or capacity to do it when you do have the time having time doesn't equal having uh, interest in doing certain things like I could have all the time in the world but if I don't feel like writing I will not be doing it so I need to get in the right mentality but of course once I've rested enough and enjoyed life enough I usually get back on it pretty fast because it just it's kind of the balance that creeps up on me and I feel like okay now I'm naturally drawn to doing something because I've relaxed too much in a way uh, definitely the first thing of changing that mindset or being more aware of it is obviously meditation um, which I always I, I will not shut up about it never uh, it, it's definitely something that will raise more it will raise your self-awareness so you are more able to recognize feeling guilt of not doing something and then it will also help you to shift that thought pattern or like the, the emotion so if you're feeling guilt you you'd be able to ask yourself why am i feeling this guilt and is it serving me somehow the so recognizing your emotions through meditation is very important so the first thing is definitely i would say meditation then one thing that has helped me enormously also was journaling so starting to journal my thoughts and feelings also to be more aware because i feel like meditation is what it is doing is giving you the awareness of the emotions that you're having and how you're thinking but then journaling them out will kind of let you to go through them and really visualize them and see what those emotions are that you are sensing or feeling in specific moments and for me whenever i am too relaxed so even if i'm on vacation i notice that i always feel like okay you know i've been tanning for hours should i be like doing something productive and it doesn't have to be even involving any like work or anything relating my business but it can also be just should I be going to a museum or maybe booking a nice restaurant or should I somehow be active in the sense of making this time I wouldn't say profitable but I would say definitely how can I make this moment or my activity that I'm doing at the moment how can I make it even more either memorable or somehow more important than it is so i'm trying to always find importance or meaning in everything that i do i can also relax that's not the thing but i do notice that once i can pinpoint emotions that i have by doing shadow work so journaling also mirror work is one 
that is included in the shadow work but I would say journaling for sure from all of these because journaling is just putting your mind and thoughts on a journal. You can journal in two ways so one would be goal journaling or visualization journaling where you journal and you thank your higher self or you thank the the universe that you already have what you desired and then the other way of journaling would be whenever you experience a triggering situation in your life let's say when I noticed today that I had a slight guilt coming like to the surface I was able to notice it to say thank you for noticing for myself for my inner being and then I sort of released it and I was like okay I felt guilt because I wanted to do this for a couple of days but then immediately once I released it and I accepted the feeling I was able to really enjoy the moment and understand that this guilt it was only there to remind me of the things that should be done but it was not serving its purpose because I was not going to do those things at the moment so I would have just felt guilt but still I, I would have just done whatever I was about to do and the third is not that surprising but actually doing something regarding this thing I think there's also rules for this like three two one rule if you feel a bit discouraged or tired or something but you can just say three two one and you just get up and do something and by doing something will already sort of reprogram yourself to feel accomplishment so whatever you're doing is already giving you the sense of accomplishment and you will feel more gratitude for doing something so you kind of moved yourself you activated yourself and this is already I feel is the opposite of guilt because you're feeling guilt for not doing something maybe and then by activating yourself even the slightest activation like you feel that there's a lot of things you need to do around the house but just doing like you know make your bed or change the sheets or just take out the trash like a small thing that will make you feel that you accomplish something because sometimes I also see that there's so many things that I need to do and a lot of deadlines and I need to do a lot of writing and just sending out stuff and then I always do some sort of like to-do list but I also give myself the freedom to only do one thing from the list so even if it's a long list on the days when I'm not like 100% I would just then do one thing or two things whatever it feels right for me doing the smallest thing that you can do to just get you in this sort of vibration of doing things being active and accomplishing something because when we do something we also I feel that we become more vibrationally in tune with what we want to receive I wanted to write my thesis one day and I knew that I wouldn't have the energy to do like three pages of it so I just started to write something and I wrote like I don't know three paragraphs but I already felt like I'm activating myself to getting in the vibration of actually writing my thesis and for me it's way easier to do a bigger task in small chunks cut everything into small chunks and just then start doing things like then activating myself I would love to hear how what are the things that you do when you're facing something similar like a similar situation there's always this mindset aside to everything we need to somehow prime ourselves to be ready to do certain things whether it's like working out or writing a thesis or doing youtube videos or whatever it is so yeah i hope these tips might help someone and maybe you get around to do the things that you wanted to do and you've just been putting them off but remember to also relax because i feel that it's equally as important as being very active and like determined in what we're doing i'll see you next week Thank you.